everybody and welcome to Handmade Studio. I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock. Today I'm going to be road testing wall tile adhesive by Dunlop. By road testing, I mean, what is it going to be used for? How good is it to use? How easy it is to use? What can you apply it onto? And how does that actually perform? Where and where, where and where, where can you put it? Okay, stay tuned to find out more. Let's go over the advantages of using this tile adhesive. What I love about it, it's already pre-mixed. I don't have to mix anything up. I just lift the lid off the bucket and then I can use it straight away. That is a really good bonus. The other thing I like about it, it lasts a long, long time. If you store this properly, and I'll show you how to store it properly, it will last around about three to four years. I've had a bucket for actually five years and it still worked because I, my, I stored it really, really well. The other thing I love about it is it doesn't slump. That means I can put it on a vertical surface. My tiles can go on a vertical surface on a wall and they will stay there as long as they're not too heavy. So I can actually work with it on a vertical, my mosaics on a vertical surface, which is really nice to know. The other advantage is this can be colored with tints. So I'm going to talk about coloring your mastic adhesive. There are disadvantages and we'll talk about those soon. So stay tuned. Let's talk about application. How do you apply this mastic adhesive to your boards? Now, it will go onto MDF, it will go onto cement sheeting, it will go onto concrete, it will go onto my terracotta bird bath. So it will go onto almost any surface. People have tried plaster, don't put it onto plaster. It actually doesn't like the dust on plaster. You have to seal your plaster first. It does stick to PVC piping, but I wouldn't recommend that for outside. So it sticks to a lot of things. First of all, you need to open up your bucket and there we go. Inside, I've actually, it's getting quite empty now. And what I make sure that I do is I always flatten it to the surface, uh, flatten it to the bottom so I don't have a lot of residue around the sides. That helps to keep the um, mastic adhesive wetter for longer. It then doesn't dry out so much. If you're really worried about it drying out, you can actually put Glad Wrap, put Glad Wrap right down the bottom and that will seal it even better. And I then, if I'm not going to use it for a while, like when I was moving, I didn't use any mastic glue for six months. I actually put Glad Wrap at the bottom, a plastic cling wrap at the bottom, pressed it down so there was no air. Then I put cling wrap at the top, then I put the lid on and that kept it really, really good for over six months. I, it does come in a big bucket. There are smaller buckets available, but if you're going to do a lot of work, you can buy the big bucket and have it last. You can apply with a knife, but you can also apply with the little baggie. They are zip locks and they are really easy to use. I'm just going to clean my hand. So I always have a sponge ready when I use mastic adhesive. If it gets onto your clothes, it actually doesn't come out really, really well if it dries. So I'm just going to pull this out. And as you can see, it's, um, it holds onto the knife really, really well. It, it does stick to metal. You have to use mascara to get it off. So that's the baggie and that is the knife. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a wipe and you can see how easily it cleans. So that's the other thing I do like about it. I'm going to pop the lid back on so this doesn't dry out. So that is my wall tile adhesive. This is not designed for outside. Um, they do not recommend it for outside. Having said that, it's a disclaimer. I use it for outside all the time, but I do seal my grout. I seal my cement sheeting on the back and I don't have an issue. For gluing your tiles, there is the baggie so I can squeeze it and out it comes. I might make that hole a little bit bigger um, so that it will ooze out just a little bit quicker for me. 
You get about uh, five minutes, 10 minutes wiggle time. They say open shelf life around about half an hour. That is for when you're laying down big tiles, you're actually going to put around about a three mil bed on. When we're using this um, just for our little tiles, you don't do it that way so much. So let's get some tiles out and away we go. Several ways you can do this. You can lay, it, you can lay the glue on your board like that. I'm not a big fan of doing that um, with the baggy system. I feel that it doesn't adhere as well as it perhaps should. Just glue a little bit on, gently press down. And that's the other thing too. When you do work with these, don't squash it down. So I'm just going to show you how much glue I put on. So we'll do that again. So it's a bed um, I'm putting roughly around about so there's roughly about two mil all over, two to three mil. And when I put the tile on, I just gently wiggle that. And I don't get a lot of glue oozing out, but there is a little bit of glue there. It's not overly obvious. There you go, you can see that. But there is glue under there, so I haven't squashed it out. And I'll show you what some students do. They put their glue down and then they place their tile on and what they do, so we've got the tile, you can see that adhesive it's placed on, but they keep squashing it down. Now, when you keep squashing down, what you're effectively doing is oozing that glue off. So basically, you've got to be careful when you're doing that. Make sure that you don't squash down too hard. So that's one way with the bag. It keeps your fingers really clean. It's a really good way to work. The other thing I like about mastic adhesive is that when you have finished it, you can just take this top up and I'll show you. So I've got my sticky tape. If I just put the sticky tape over that nozzle, squash either end, I now have that ready to go. Now I can leave this for at least four weeks if it is in a coolish area and that will stay ready to use and my students do that from week to week they fill up their bag they then put it aside and they can come back to it a week later seven days later it's still beautiful to use as long as they seal the tip there you go now the other way to use your mastic glue is to put it in a container going to do for this to last is I'm going to pop pop I'm going to put some cling wrap on this that way if I'm in a warm area it means that there is no air getting into that cling wrap so it stays fresher for longer the other thing I can do now is I'm going to get a portion of that, press the cling wrap down, put the lid on top and pop that on top. It means that anything that you have, because you don't want to use a big container all the time, I can then put adhesive onto my tile. So I can then, it's like, I call it buttering bread. You can like butter your bread. And then we can put our tiles on. So that is the other way that you can. I'm just going to clean my fingers again. Do it that way. Now, if you're really, really quick and you're very efficient at doing this and you know exactly what you're doing, the other way of doing it is laying the glue directly onto your board, which is what the professional tilers would do. So you just lay it onto the board. Easy. Then you can just lay your tiles on top. The other thing too is that I said this is really good because it stays up and it works on a vertical surface. So it means that I can work on a vertical surface and apply my tiles without it falling 
down. These are only little tiles, so it works really, really well. So I can go around and have it and have it hold up, and that is really, really good. I get around about five minutes wiggle room on these boards, so if I want to just turn them, if I knocked a tile like that, I can actually turn this around and re-fix it up, so that's not an issue. So that is the application of the wall tile adhesive. P.S. I forgot to mention that this wall tile adhesive sitting on the lid will dry out in really um, hot conditions. If it is very hot or you have a fan or if you're in a warm room that has a heater, my recommendation is to just pop a piece of cling wrap over that so that stops the top from drying out. And then you can just grab, pull that up, get your knife and pop it down again. And that way this doesn't dry out. It stays lovely and fresh for you. And then you can continue to keep tiling. Your tiles. So it won't ruin the backing of the glass. As you can see, this piece is now 10 years old. That, that mirror that had the uh, silver backing hasn't deteriorated at all. So I can recommend it for mirror work, but anything that has a silver backing. We've talked about how to apply this adhesive. Now I'm going to talk about what will glue with this adhesive. So I've just put on my handmade ceramic tiles. So these are my handmade ceramic tiles, commercial tiles that are clay will do the job as well. So these are clay tiles. And I am also used this uh, vitreous, they're not quite a vitreous tile, they're a lovely smooth glass tiles. They're an iridized tile with this backing on them. Now I can lay just going to cut this. Now, I have just knocked these tiles here. Remember I said I've got around about five minutes of wiggle time. It actually takes around about 20 minutes for it to become really quite firm. So I can still move these back into position. They are going to move a little bit, but now I can lay. <laughs> I'll get back to laying my ball chain on. Really nicely. There you go. So that's now embedded into the mastic adhesive. And mastic, oh, move these tiles again. That mastic adhesive will hold it brilliant. So it does take metal. We do need to talk about the disadvantages of the wall tile adhesive. If you are in a freeze thaw condition, perhaps it's not the glue to use. There are other Dunlop brands and um, you can have a look at those. There are thin sets that work in the freeze thaw conditions. You need to seal it with a grout and have a grout sealant so the water doesn't get to it and compromise its adhesion. Um, what else can I say? Uh, it doesn't glue to plastic. So make sure that if you have beads, that the beads are glass beads. That's about it. So there aren't a lot of disadvantages. Probably the main disadvantage is that it cannot be used for outside in water immersion. So it works brilliantly with wood, timber, and beads. You can use it outside on your wall murals. It has no problems at all, as long as you seal your the back of your cement sheeting as well as you have the grout on the front. I think that's about it. Okay, so that's the road test for the Dunlop Mastic Adhesive. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, testing, yay!